Hello and welcome to another edition of Library NG. My name is Damilari Ovidemi. Today on Library NG, you have with me the University Librarian at the American University of Washington State in the person of Dr. Mrs. Bola Atiluma. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. I'm looking at the, th the concept of libraries now, the diverse type of libraries. We have school libraries, we have public libraries. What has been your experience so far being a librarian in an academic environment? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a very fulfilling experience. I started my interest in libraries right from a secondary school um, time because I grew up in a home where we have libraries and my parents really invested on the book purchase and all that. So when I got to the secondary school, I loved reading in the, Bible, in the library, especially storybooks. And uh, by and by, I had an experience at the National Archives in Ibadan mm -hmm. uh, as early as uh, 1982. I worked there as an officer in the library. My interest in library grew. Uh, then when I went into the university, I decided to actually pursue librarianship. Yeah. And it's really been very, very rewarding because I see library as a storehouse of knowledge and it gives you an opportunity to really find out about places that you may never ever visit in life about um, various types of knowledge and so on and so forth because it's a storehouse of knowledge, storehouse of information I, I've, I, I, I fell in love with it and in coming into, into the university system it's very rewarding for me as a person to see that we can create an opportunity to, for students, for staff and I, I, the entire university community and of, of course the community we are serving, the town we are situated um, to, to be able to provide access for books for them is very rewarding for me as a person all right do you, do, does the library provide access to, to information resources to the outside community those are not the users of this community of the university community that's right as a, an academic library we don't only cater for the curriculum right. we cater also for the um, co-curriculum and also the extracurriculum activities of our students and that's where we have people coming from the community involved for instance in our library here you could just pick up a book on how to cook a book on uh, the history of uh, a day for instance a book on uh, how to play chess or how to play a piano there is not that we have started doing music here but because an academic library caters for all those things so you can see uh, a lot of subject area that are directly or indirectly related to both the student and the community that uh, we are situated Ma, in the larger sense how does library serve as an educational institution like i said earlier that the library is a storehouse of knowledge there is nobody or no school of knowledge or an uh, organization that can no matter how rich you are you cannot have the money to be able to purchase every book that you need and even if you have the money you will not ha you cannot have the space to keep all the books that you need or the information that you need and that is where the library come in to play a very major role because the library will make it available for you those things that you may not be able to have personally and it cuts across all field of knowledge so it's an educational um, resource an information resource for every field of knowledge. Library has been an educational resource. What does this ask to offer for, for those that are not educated in the community? Thank you. Um, you know, the library is not only for people that are literate. Because of the type of materials that we have. We have materials that are in print. 
we have those that are we have a lot of AV materials we call them audiovisual materials for instance we cater also for people who are disabled we cater for people who might not be able to read or write libraries have things for them we cater for people who um, might not who are not literate like I, I like I said um, by maybe watching film or watching video or any instructional materials they don't have to read it but when it's been delivered to them in their local tongue they are able to assimilate and we have a lot of things in that regard in libraries not necessarily an ac academic library but in special libraries and in public libraries we have something that is referred to as um, agri extension those people cater for the local our local farmers they can come in and um, assess materials in a public library that will help them in doing the agri agriculture uh, better we also have them in the area of public health those ones too they um bring produce a lot of they can come to the library to get materials that will help them to um address the po the non-literate public people that are not educated you may be like you were talking about lhasa a few while ago talking about ebola and so on and so forth there are quite a number of information resources that are housed in the library that we can use for these people uh, in the form of audiovisual materials that we aid them in understanding whatever topic we want to pass across to them all right ma'am what about the academic environment for students for researchers what does library arts offer for them quite a lot like i told you the library in any organization caters for um the main service is to um cater for the curriculum of that institution for instance in a university that we are talking about an academic library you want to talk about the courses that they are running in that school so you provide the materials that they will use if your school as is uh, old enough to have postgraduate um, studies you include those two those are we often refer to as research materials for them and of course you cater for the lecturers they need books to do their um, researches they need books to make up their notes of lesson they need books to to, do, to 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 write their researches so that they too can attend conferences can write papers and so on and so forth so in an academic library we cater for majorly for the curriculum and then a little percentage for the co-curriculum and of course the extracurriculum uh, interest of our clients that is our community right. does library varies in types and in also in the services that's yeah um we have them from as minute as um, the public libraries i mean we have the school libraries and these are libraries that cater for the primary school the secondary schools we have the public libraries which cater for the populace i mean the public that is the local government the state government and of course the federal government then we have the special libraries which are usually um research libraries and they more or less are limited to a particular field of knowledge for instance uh, a, a law library is a special library although it's in an academic setting a medical library is a special library although it's in an academic setting but we still have others like for instance iita in Ibadan, which which concentrates majorly on agricultural yes um knowledge so they have a special library in nine hot in Ibadan, they have special library and we have petroleum library and so on and so forth they are referred to as special library we also did call the library for the disabled we call them also special library like those that are um having hearing impairments 
or those that are blind we have braille library libraries that all the books that are there are braille books you know they read them using their fingers and also apart from that we also have private libraries your pa personal library in your either in offices or in your homes they are often referred to as private libraries so libraries are you know they are diverse so you mentioned public library failure which serves the community yes and public libraries are, are regarded to as the people's university yes in a community nowadays do we still embrace the use of public library unfortunately no why and we are trying to work on that we have a lot of things that is um militating against this the first thing is the poor reading culture in our society. Yes. People don't read any longer. The second thing is fund, is money. Money is very vital in order to have a very good um, library program. We, d we don't have enough funding for the public libraries. And that is the reason why you will go to a public, a typical public library. But even the the surrounding is not inviting. You see weed everywhere, and so on and so forth. And then politics also plays certain roles in these public libraries, because most of the time we don't put the right peg in the right hole. Square pegs are supposed to go in square holes round pegs are supposed to go in round holes but what we are seeing now because sometimes the leadership of the libraries are politically motivated and so you see people that are non-librarians heading libraries mm. and when they don't actually perform up to expectation you cannot blame them and like i was saying that our community is no more a reading a reading community our parents need a lot to do uh, all of us need a lot to do to bring back the old glories of book reading. When I say book, I'm not referring only to the paper print. I mean even audio books, even electronic, electronic books. I mean like Kindle, books that you have on your computers, on your and tabs and so on and so forth. But what we, what we just make people to study, to read, to broaden your knowledge, to, to broaden your horizon, so that you'll be a better person. We don't do that anymore. We concentrate so much on entertainment these days. Either people are playing football, you see everywhere is uh, Arsenal, or is, um, and people waste a lot of time on this, and uh, money, and sometimes people are losing their lives. So we have that. We have children that we prefer to sing rather than read. And we have so many vices in our society today. Our values are changing. But I know we can still come back to what is supposed to be. All right, guys, I'm going to a discussion with Dr. Mrs. Paula at Siloma. I'll be right back after this break. Please don't go away. Welcome back to us. So we've been in a discussion with Dr. Mrs. Bola at Siloma. We've been talking about how libraries can impact our community. But doctor, you mentioned earlier that um, that people who spend most of their time on watching TV see for entertainment and their lives. Is entertainment and sports are they not good? Thank you very much. I did not say watching TV. I'm talking about particular thing what they are watching on TV. Um, entertainment is good. In fact, it said all work and no play makes Jack and Jill dull boys and girls. But what we are seeing today, sport has been from ages past. Entertainment has been from ages past. But the amount of time that the youth of today are concentrating on this is, is uh, not healthy. That's the problem. It's not healthy. And then the telephone. The GSM is not even helping matter. Oh. Yes, because a lot of times children waste their time on this. Most of the time. Some are 
in fact addicted to it and when you try to see where they go they go to areas that will not benefit them that are wasting their time that are corrupting them and so on and so forth so we really have a lot to do to be able to be back, bring back the old glories of um, and helping Nigeria to continue to be a reading community so I'm not saying sport is not good in fact it's one of those things that remove um, at the, the youth have energy and they need somewhere to dissipate that energy but the rate at which we are going now if we don't curb it we will just turn out with people that are dollars mm. and that is not healthy um, do you think value is placed on education in Nigeria today in respect to managing libraries? Uh, value is pl pl placed on education. Everybody, it depends on how you want to look at it. Everybody, that's why you see people going at all costs to get education. But the fact is, are they really getting the education? You know, parents, some parents will allow their children to cheat or they help them to cheat. You buy results, you get to school by all means and so on. It's because there is a value that is attached to education. But to talk about whether we are actually getting that education is another topic. To the library. Oh, of course. The library will continue to play its roles. The library will continue to be there to play the role of being a custodian of knowledge, a repository for knowledge, a powerhouse in an educational environment, in the public, in the homes, or anywhere. So, there is no time you enter into a library, either electronically, a virtual library, or a physical library. By the time you are leaving that place, you must have gained something. You will become a better person. So, it's still playing its role as the storehouse of knowledge. Yes. What is the only take on you on social media in our society today, especially among our youth? It's doing a lot of hard work. Hard work's like? It's in their time. The Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, and so on and so forth. That is not to say that social media is not good. In fact, it's one of the medium through which the library communicates to people. We can use them positively. Oh. Um, nearly every, for instance, in the library, we have a, 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 an Instagram page, we have a Facebook page, on Twitter, we Google Plus, we have pages, and so we um, give out information. We communicate. There's something we call Library 2.0. That is, library has moved from you just looking at books alone. It's becoming interactive. In fact, now we are, we are talking about library 3.0. You will talk and immediately you will receive uh, a response back, a feedback. And we can be communicating like that. It's as if we can even do that, um, seeing one another. Like for instance, the use of Skype. The WhatsApp, the IMO, all the social media, they have their pros and cons. What we just need to do is to educate the youth on the use of social media. Some universities are trying to do this. Some schools are also trying to do that. We just need to go out there and let these children know that www.whatever is good. Google is good. The, all those search engines, the social media, they are good. But at the same time, they could be deadly. They could be very, very dangerous. We have had cases of children that commit suicide just because somebody was bullying them on the phone. After somebody bullied them on the phone, they go back home and hang themselves. Some, they lure them through the use of um, social media. Some are becoming psychologically derailed because they are glued or addicted or obsessed with their phone. So the duty, the parents has a lot of duty to play. And 
the the, the schools has also has a, a role to play on the use of social media and the youth so it has both its positive and negative um, implication on the youth of today so we can minimize the negative if we cannot totally remove them we can minimize it and then encourage the positive aspects what they can get from it that we impart their life positively and that will be better for for our youth how about we start people on the use of libraries oh Why? okay we have a lot of roles to play like i said and it's from the home i would like to encourage our parents to and to to admonish parents to encourage their children to read right from the ages where they can identify colors and shapes let's spend a lot of money on that on buying books for children in relation to their age rather than spending money on too many toys toys have their own place oh. but don't spend too much money on toys and leaving out books and then the in the, the ministry of education at each of the level primary secondary tertiary must build in reading culture into the curriculum while i was in secondary school about some 30 something years ago we have a time to go to the library to read and when you come from the is on our timetable time to read library and when you come back from the library you with the teacher will ask you what you have read and that is where you see a lot of students with you serendipitously you you know accidental discovery when you go into the library just going around you see something that interests you and you pull the book out and you read it and you like to go back there tomorrow okay that's the role of the parents and the school and the, and the ministry then the governments when it comes to public library libraries we need to look back look at it again in those days in Ibadan, whenever we want any foreign film we will go to the british council library that's where we borrow like um, films so you borrow the film you you look at the film then you return it back to them and that was the era of where we anti the t television we start 4 30 and it will close 12 pm so it's not like now we have 24 7 and the dstv is there so that time when you are able to go to the library and pick um a movie you sit down watch it then you return it pick another one and so on and so forth we can still come back to that there is quite a lot of things that the library can still do for us for instance now we are talking we we nigeria okay nigeria we want to we don't want to uh, we want to go back to our roots made in nigerian goods speak yoruba to your student uh, your children speak Igbo, speak Hausa, use your Yoruba clothes, and so on. We want to go back to our roots. Do you know, is this one of the major functions of the public libraries? To be custodian of oral history of each community? The one that we are fast losing? Do you know, it's still one of those areas where we can look into and find germane things that are pertaining to our roots so they, they the government have to work on that and um, they must always ensure that librarians are heading the libraries that is very, important. very very important then a lot of awareness must go on from the library in form of bulletin orientations exhibitions and so on and so forth so that people will actually know what we are doing it seems we as librarians too we are silent we need to blow our trumpet the more yes so that we can help wherever society, um, community we find ourselves we can help them let them know we are here and let them know the services we can render 
Thank for you them. Thank you so much for the discussion. You're welcome. Well, yes, as well, there's no discussion with Dr. Mrs. Paula Atuloma, the University of Liberia and the University of Ethiopia State. Thank you so much for watching for this edition, and until next time, shall come to your view again. I still remain Dan Larry with the day. Stay tuned to us with television and always with the library, your best friend. Thanks for watching.